Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. It is your girl Brittany Jade and today I thought I would show you guys everything that I got in my grocery haul this week. Um, today was a pretty hefty, I'd say, grocery haul. We hit up Walmart, we hit up TJ Maxx to grab a few things, little things, I'll show you what we got there. And we also hit up Costco. So I wanted to take you guys through and show you everything that I got this week. I also did order some things on Amazon, which I will walk you through everything that I ordered. I've got a ton of good keto snacks, a ton of good meats, a ton of good things that I'm gonna show you guys that are all things keto and low carb, as well as family friendly, because as you guys know, I do have three other family members that eat in this house that are not keto. So I do like to make sure that my lifestyle does not interfere with feeding them. So I hope that you guys enjoy that as well. If you're new here, I hope that you guys would consider hitting that red subscribe button and the little bell notification so that you don't miss these uploads from me. And if you are already subscribed, thanks so much for stopping by again. I appreciate you guys so much. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up and make sure you share this video with any friends that you may have that are going through the keto diet and maybe don't know exactly what they should be shopping for or they don't know how to shop and include themselves on their keto diet as well as their family members who are not on keto. I hope you guys get some really great tips from this. So I'm going to go ahead and get right on into what we got today. So I will start on over here with the produce. The first thing that I picked up was this bag of spinach and I picked up this. So these are things that I got from Walmart. So I'll walk you through all the produce that I got and all of this is from Walmart. I've never really gotten produce from Walmart because where I live, the Walmart that I live by, we don't sell produce. So I don't typically get produce from Walmart, but I went ahead and grabbed it today because the area that we were in had a pretty good, well-rounded produce section. So hopefully this stuff lasts me a long time and it was pretty good price, so you cannot beat that. So I got this Fresh Express bag of spinach. I got um, this little uh, box here three tomatoes this looks like the big like sliced tomatoes normally I get like the little romas but these were only like $1.98 or something super cheap like that so I had to get those I got um, a head of just like the iceberg lettuce um, just for salad sandwiches wraps things like that I, I like iceberg lettuce and romaine but you know, this stuff is super cheap, and y'all, you can, like, make sandwiches with this. Like, you can do a whole bunch with iceberg lettuce. Love it. Um, I got some bananas. These are mostly for my kids. I got some berries back there from Costco. I picked these up from Costco. These were super cheap, um, but strawberries from Costco are so good, you guys. Pretty much any berries you get from Costco are going to be good. Um, back to Walmart. I got these bell peppers um, from Walmart. They came in a bag like this. Pretty good price. I got this bag of onions here. I swear this whole bag was like under two bucks. So um, you can have a little bit of onion on the keto diet, you guys. You just have to be super careful about how much like obviously you don't want to eat like a whole bowl of sauteed onions um but i i do like to incorporate onions especially when i'm cooking my meats like ground meats and things like that and i do like a little red onion in my salad so i still have some red onions from my mother-in-law actually gave me these from her garden so i still have a ton of red onions which i need to stick those in the fridge by the way um moving right along to the sauces so i did from costco i picked up this this is the rayo's marinade sauce and I absolutely love this stuff you guys this is pretty pricey if you get it um, from like a regular grocery store but I find at Costco I get like these two huge things and they're not that expensive I want to say it's like six or seven dollars but this has like the lowest carb and sugar count that I can find in pasta sauce only five net carbs four grams of sugar two grams of protein per serving y'all and I think that it tastes really good so I enjoy that um, I also did pick up some pizza sauce. Um, this is, I got from Walmart, and this is just like the great value pizza sauce. The carb count was pretty low on this, and do make sure that you're checking your carb and sugar counts on your sauces when you guys are grocery shopping, because different brands, like, they're not all the same. So this only has three net carbs per serving, so when I do like my keto pizza or like my pizza casserole this week, um, which you guys will be seeing in an upcoming video, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on my What I Eat Wednesday videos. Um, yeah, you guys just have to make sure of your macros uh, and the carb count in sauces and things like that. I picked up some 
Alfredo sauce also. This is just the Regu roasted garlic parmesan. This is mostly for like my husband and the kids. But I did go ahead and splurge a little bit and pick up the Rayo's um, garlic Alfredo sauce also. You could totally save money and make the Alfredo sauce yourself, but I'm busy and ain't nobody got time for that. I just don't have time. Um, I would love to make Alfredo sauce from scratch, but if I'm being honest with myself, I just cannot. So this will have to do for now. This was a little bit of a splurge. I want to say this was like $2.25 per can, which is honestly a little bit more pricey than I would like to spend. But if I'm just eating this just for me, like these two jars will last me a long time. So it was well worth it for me. Plus, I didn't have to worry about storing the um, Alfredo sauce and like it potentially going bad. But there's only two net carbs per serving here, and the stats were really good on this stuff, so I like that. Okay, so moving right along. Sorry about that. I had to take a quick break. Um, so I got this chunky salsa. This is just the medium. I did pick up a uh, jar of Kraft mayo. I also, that was all of the sauces that I picked up from Walmart. I did also pick up this can of pineapples. This is mostly for my baby. Um, I won't be eating any of that, but I did get it. So uh, these are a few things that I picked up from TJ Maxx. I picked up this uh, Himalayan pink salt. You guys know that pink salt is really good when you're on the ketogenic diet. Uh, it's just a really high quality grade of salt to use and it also helps to restore your electrolytes. And I got this, you guys, for like $4.99. Like, this is why I love the little seasoning section at TJ Maxx because you never know what you're gonna find there. Always find some good stuff. I also found this monk fruit sweetener. This is the Lakanto monk fruit sweetener in just classic. Um, and this was also $4.50, like can't beat it. So I'm gonna hopefully be making some keto treats coming up this week. I don't know if I wanna make like some cheese, I kinda wanna make like some cheesecake fat bombs or something, but we'll see what I come up with. And then I also picked up these supplements, this apple cider vinegar natural cleanse gummies. I've been seeing so many people talk about apple cider vinegar gummies and I wanted to give them a try and this was only $7.99. Uh, so I definitely went ahead and picked these up. I'm super excited about this. So got that and I I got this Kinder's buttery steakhouse seasoning. I actually picked this up at Costco I'm sorry that I'm going back and forth between stores you guys I hope that y'all are able to keep track of where I'm saying that I'm getting things But anything that I can have linked down below I'll try and have linked down below for you guys so you can just order it online or do whatever uh, But I picked this buttery steakhouse seasoning up from Costco and it looked really good because we did pick up some steak um, But it's salt dehydrated onion garlic butter flavors um, and spices, red bell pepper, parsley, yeast extract, turmeric, sunflower oil. I don't know, something about it just sounded really yummy, so I went ahead and picked that up, um, and I'm excited to try that on some of our steaks this week. Um, moving right along to some snacks, so these sunflower seeds I picked up at Walmart. I got the Biggs Dill Pickle flavor, and I also got the Zesty Ranch, and then we got a huge bag of this David's Original. Like, we, me and my husband have both been on a huge sunflower seed kick the last couple of days, but, like, look at this. So, for a fourth cup um, in this Dill Pickle flavor, there's only three grams of carbs. I mean, even if you wanted to go ahead and, like, eat this entire bag, like, I don't recommend eating an entire bag because, you know, that's a lot, but um, even if you did want to, I mean, there's only eight net grams of carbs. So, like, that's pretty good. Like, if you're somebody who likes to, like, eat salty things when you're watching movies and things like that, I mean, this would be, like, a really good option for you. Yeah, this entire bag of the ranch flavor only has three net carbs per per the entire container. So like I think in my humble opinion that that is pretty good. So these were the big brand and I think these were only like a dollar, not even. Okay, so the next thing that I picked up was uh, these bags of beef jerky. My husband really loves the peppered bag and I picked up the Jack Link's Zero Sugar. Normally whenever I pick up Zero Sugar jerky, like it's disgusting you guys, so I'm, I'm hopeful for this. If you guys have any good brands of beef jerky that you really like that's keto friendly, um, drop them down below and let me know what you guys think or what your suggestions are. So that is all of that. Moving right along to my meats here. So I did pick up um, this salmon. I got this at Costco. I mean, this, these two fillets, like I'll probably um, 
cut up half for this week and then I'll freeze the rest. Like I'll try and vacuum seal it and freeze it. This was $21.82 for these two fillets. My husband is not really huge on salmon, but I love salmon. Um, so I'm really excited about that. I did pick up some steaks, you guys, and the steaks were insanely expensive, like they always are. Um, but they were particularly expensive this week. So I got the New York steak boneless. Um, there's four steaks in here. Honestly, I only eat like a half at a time. So, um, yeah, these looked really good and tasty and lots of nice fat on there. So I think these are going to be really flavorful and cook up really nicely. And I'm excited to use that buttery steakhouse seasoning on them. Um, so I picked up this natural choice, uh, smoked deli ham. This was just in like the sandwich section and pretty good fat on there, like 1.5 grams for four slices. But I, what I really got this for was I wanted to do like a ham pepperoni sausage pizza this week, like keto pizza. So I picked this up for that. And then my husband likes ham for his sandwiches for work. Uh, I got this party pack of 12 links of the better cheddar sausages. You guys know I talk about these all the time. These are so freaking good. The fat content's really good. They're great for breakfasts. <laughs> breakfasts. They're great for breakfast, dinner, all that. I also picked up this pork shoulder. I got this at Costco. This was $19, you guys, but I'm planning on using this for quite a while, um, like at least three to four meals because it's just me and my husband. We don't really eat a lot. Um, so I wanna like have cut it in half, freeze the other half, and then I'll do a half of the, I'll do a fourth of it now. Um, like I'll do a fourth for one meal and then I'll do the other half for like leftovers that week But I'm really excited for like some pulled pork. I've got some good Some good recipes coming up for this. So I'm excited to use that I also picked up this smoked sausage because I really want to make some uh, keto Jambalaya, I love that. It's so good um, I picked up this mild Italian pork sausage and then I also got some turkey breakfast sausage crumbles and I picked this up because it's 60% less fat so it's not really like the greatest like the fat content is still 5.5 grams per serving but there's no carbs there's no sugar there's 10 grams of protein but I mostly just got this because I wanted to um, throw it on that pizza that I was talking about. And then I just got a pack of bacon I got this at Walmart this is the thick cut bacon. Um, and then I got the olive oil. This is the organic extra virgin olive oil from Costco. It's the Kirkland brand. I picked this up and I love getting their olive oil because I feel like it's a really good price for the amount I get. All right, and so we did get a chance to pick up the snacks for the kids this week at Costco. So I picked up these granola bars. My daughter really loves these. They're the Kirkland brand. I got a bag of the individual bags of goldfish and then we got this party size bag of pretzels. My husband really likes them and he eats them often so we got the big bag i also picked up these um sea salt veggie straws um, i'm hoping that i can you know my kids will like them so i went ahead and picked those up from walmart and then it's pizza night so the kids are having pizza kids and taylor and i'm gonna have like a salad or something but um, I also picked up this box of waffles both my kids love waffles in the morning and I don't mind it so they get that and then I also picked up um, this unsweetened applesauce these are pouches both my kids will really like those uh, these are fruit leathers they're zero sugar added so really good for all my mamas out there who are looking for a nice uh, little treat for their kids this is like candy for my daughter. Um, I got these at Walmart. I mean, I'm sorry. I got these at Costco and she really likes these. She has these a lot at her Yaya's house. So I went ahead and picked a box up here and this was only like $9. So I'd say it's pretty good because you get 50 fruit leathers. So really nice there. And then we always get our peanut butter from Costco. I cannot wait until they get Jiffy back, you guys, because Skippy is not the wave for me. It is not the wave. So um, for two tablespoons of this peanut butter, you get four net carbs. So this is not the best stuff ever. I'm not telling you guys that this is like the all natural, like low carb peanut butter because it's not. And I don't have peanut butter very often. If I do, it's in like a smoothie or something, but I always try and make it work for me. And I enjoy peanut butter. So that is just my little tip for you. Okay, so really quickly, you guys were asking about like what I eat for sweets because you guys know I have a major sweet tooth. So I do the sugar-free like pudding, um, but I'm also gonna show you two other desserts that I like to do and a new one that I just picked up. So I'm gonna show you that right now. Okay. 
so these are gonna be linked down in the description box below for you guys um, but these are the keto cookies I got chocolate chip and peanut butter as well these are awesome desserts um, there's two net carbs per cookie so four net carbs these are really soft and moist you guys you guys are gonna love these and I gotta go okay so I wanted to take you guys out to my deep freezer really quick because I did pick these up also from Costco they're the keto ice cream bars the sea salt caramel and um, I had heard Danielle Diaries talk about these, so I wanted to go ahead and pick them up. There's 12 bars in these. Um, it looks like there's two net carbs and one gram of sugar. So I'm really excited to try these out. Make sure that you guys check these out at your local Costco and stay tuned for an upcoming video because I'm gonna try these sometime soon. All right, you guys, so that is everything that I picked up today from Costco, Walmart, and a little bit from TJ Maxx. And I hope you guys like this video. If you do, make sure you give it a thumbs up and let me know down below that you like this kind of video because I don't do many grocery hauls here on my channel, but if that's something you guys are interested in to get some ideas on how to shop for this keto diet while also including your family's dietary needs and wants, uh, then let me know because I would love to keep on filming them. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you give it a thumbs up. Make sure you smash that subscribe button so you don't miss any upcoming videos from me and I will check you guys in the next one. Bye.